In today's video, we are going to talk about what to look for in a little black dress for your 10 item capsule wardrobe. Hi everyone, Jennifer here. Welcome back to The Daily Connoisseur. I do the 10 item capsule wardrobe here on YouTube. It is a concept that I discovered while I was living in Paris and I chronicle it in my Madame Chic books including lessons from Madame Chic. I also have a TEDx talk on the subject, so if you're new to the 10 item wardrobe, I highly recommend that you watch that as well. So in today's video, I have written up 10 things to look for when you are purchasing a little black dress or something special for your 10 item capsule wardrobe. Now, if you're doing the 10 item wardrobe, you are probably already of the minimalist clothing mindset. What that means is that you are very intentional about what you purchase and what you bring into your wardrobe. If you're going to purchase a special occasion dress, it has to be very well thought out. Before we jump into what to look for, I'm going to share my new addition to my 10 item capsule wardrobe. This is going to go in the extras. This dress will last me a long time and it's going to take me everywhere from the theater to a special occasion occasion date night. This is the Corentin dress from Sky. You know I love Sky. I have their reset dress and some of their beautiful jewelry. And this is a beautiful elevated minimalist there brand. There are so many elements to this dress that are beautiful and will allow me to wear it to different occasions. I have always felt a bit at a loose end because I haven't had a little black dress or a special occasion sort of cocktail dress like this in my wardrobe for some time because I was going through that maternity and nursing phase for so long. So I feel really good that I have this now and if I have a last minute occasion that I need to go to, I can definitely wear this and feel comfortable. Let's get into 10 observations and things that you're going to be looking for when purchasing a special occasion dress. The first one is the color. So a lot of people will love to wear a black dress. That will take you anywhere from the opera to a funeral comfortably. But if you're not comfortable with a darker shade like that, you can always go to a really dark charcoal gray or a dark blue indigo like this dress. This dress could look black in certain occasions, but it also can look blue as well. So just whatever shade looks good on you is um, a great one to have, but it's good to have a dark colored dress uh, for certain occasions in your wardrobe ready to go. Next thing you're gonna wanna look for is a flattering fit, and everybody has a different length that they like in a special occasion dress. For the daytime, I tend to like knee length dresses, but for more special occasions, I do like a more midi length. There's just something elegant about how that looks. The next thing you're gonna wanna look for is a timeless silhouette. You're not gonna wanna go with something that's really trendy because the goal is to keep this dress for many years and have it in your wardrobe as a go-to. So I'm just thinking in particular of a trend that was last year and the year before that with the cutout shoulders, for example. Uh, that might be very popular right now, but it might not translate well in a few years. So just choose a beautiful and timeless silhouette. I love the silhouette on this dress. I feel like it is a very Grace Kelly, Audrey Hepburn type dress, one that they would have worn, and it's very classic and timeless, and I love the hourglass shape. Choose something that is not going to go out of style anytime soon. The next thing you want to look for is a dress that is elegant. You don't want a cheap looking dress or a dress that is not going to be a very um, hefty fabric, something that's gonna show a lot of uh, lines in your undergarments, for example. I definitely recommend wearing shapewear underneath it if you have that problem, but look for a dress that is elegant, that's going to take you uh, wherever you wanna go and that you're gonna feel totally comfortable in. An elegant dress will cover your body beautifully, but also be um, revealing as well in certain areas. This dress has a peekaboo panel, a very sheer panel, where the slip goes a little bit higher above the knee and you can see the leg. I actually think that's a gorgeous feature of this dress, but if I were to go to a more conservative event, I might wear opaque tights with that or a longer slip to cover up that peekaboo aspect. Next, you're gonna to wanna to find a dress that can easily transition from occasion to occasion. So let's give a few examples right now. An evening wedding, a night at the theater, a night at the ballet or the opera or the symphony, a special dinner date with your significant other, um, these are all occasions that you might wear this dress to. You might even wear it to more somber occasions as well, uh, commemorating somebody or to a funeral. So you're gonna want to wear a dress that can easily translate to those different occasions. You're going to want to make this transition from different events with your accessories, which we're going to talk about 
in just a moment. Of course, you're going to want to make sure that the dress is something that you can afford. Don't go out and spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on a dress just because you think it's going to be right for you. You can find a dress at any price point and it is okay if your price point is really low. You could always check out secondhand consignment stores to see if something comes in that is in your price range, but don't ever go into debt on a dress. The dress that I'm wearing right now is actually very affordable. I feel like it looks like a million bucks, but it is only $165. So that's something to take into consideration. The next thing to consider is dry clean only versus washable. Now the dress that I'm wearing looks like it's dry clean only because of all of the beautiful details, but it's actually a washable dress. Now I prefer washable just with my hectic schedule as a mom, I don't really get to go to the dry cleaners that much. So just keep that into consideration as well. Let's talk about accessories. The next thing to consider is what type of jewelry will you wear with your dress? Now, when you have a simple dress that is in one plain color, you can really be more bold with your jewelry. You're not competing with a loud pattern or a certain type of fabric that's just too catchy. If it's an understated black or dark blue or dark charcoal dress, your jewelry can really stand out. This dress has a higher neckline, so I love wearing bold earrings with it. These earrings are also from Sky. These are the Genevieve 18 karat gold pearl drop earrings. And you can see they're really bold and big, but they look beautiful with this high neckline dress. Also consider wearing something special that you wouldn't normally wear on a daily basis, like an elegant brooch with one of your dresses. This is beautifully offset with the dark fabric. The next thing to consider is what shoe and handbag you will wear with this. And of course that can just change depending on where you're going and what you're doing. If you are doing something that is a little bit more casual, you can consider wearing a tan colored shoe and different colored accessories with your black or indigo colored dress. If you are having a real evening look, you can consider wearing black accessories or darker accessories. But the fun of it is that you get to change it up. And you can also change it up depending on what season you're in as well, because these dresses are really year round. And the final thing to consider is overall, how will you style your dress? Will you wear a shawl with it if it's a chilly evening? What kind of shoes, jewelry, handbag, how will it all work together? How will you do your hair and how will you do your makeup? You could wear a bold lip with a dress like this or you could do a smoky eye and a neutral lip. It's just about how you wear it. I do recommend that everybody have one special occasion dress in their 10 item capsule wardrobe. And if you choose correctly, this is a dress that you will be able to wear all year long to many different occasions. That is the beauty of the 10 item wardrobe. You are intentional about what you buy. And when you find something you like, you love it and hopefully it will last you a very long time. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure you subscribe because I'm going to be releasing another video very soon that shares what sets the 10 item wardrobe apart from other capsule wardrobe systems. Thank you for joining me today on The Daily Connoisseur and I will see you in my next video.